Good morning, everybody. Get my stuff together here. <clears throat> okay, hello. Let's check these cameras. Shaped hole in a fence, and as I start to pull the card out, 
you can see that the little heart shaped cutout of the kitten moves with the card. But then as I pull it out further, all of this magically appears. How's that? That's pretty cool, right? That's a neat little effect. See now, does the oh, and the card does have some stuff written on the back here. It says, "Hello, Kitten Academy. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, by this nice card, send my congratulations to Verse for the birth of her kittens. I witnessed the birth of the Verse kittens from beginning to end. The kittens are cute, full of big kisses to all. Hatchy, Grisette, and Black. Congratulate, Verse. Meow, meow, woof, woof. Bye, big kiss, Cindy. Oh, thank you so much." And uh, I saw a picture of, I think, Black uh, watching the Kitten Academy stream on Twitter, which was really cool. So thank you. This card's very neat. I have never seen one like this before, and that's uh, it's super clever. Hmm. It is. It's uh, on the back. It says magic cards. It is kind of magic. That's very, very cute. Thank you so much, Cindy. We greatly appreciate it. All right. Somebody's sitting, just sitting on my back. I can't tell who that is, but now I can't sit up straight. Um, all right. Cindy, thank you. That's a, that's a very cool card. And uh, I'm glad that you got to watch Verse uh, give birth to her kittens um, live. That was uh, definitely a big event. I can't get this card out of the envelope. <laughs> ah, what is going on here? Seriously, what is going on here? This makes a fun practical joke. You just put a little drop of glue at the bottom of your envelope and then stick the card in. I'm kidding, of course. This is the Black Cap Fly Catcher, Volume 1, Plate 53 in the Natural History of Carolina, Florida, and the Bahama Islands. How about that? Oh, I see there is a donation within. Thank you very much for that. This says, Dear Mr. A, a.k.a. Chris, I work nights and have a fairly high-stress job, so when finished with each shift and needing to unwind, I log on to the Kitten Academy live stream. As many have said, it is my happy place most of the time. Found it a bit painful to see the Breakfast Club kittens go. They were so fun to watch, and I became attached. I know the end point is for them to be adopted to forever homes. Still hard not to see them. I can't imagine how hard it is for you and DJ to see them go. I would assume that when you need to be you, increase the faculty. Um, oh, I assume, would assume that when need be, you increase the faculty. I see. I must compliment you on your dedication, hard work, and truly devoted demeanor toward all felines in your care. A joy to watch. It is heartwarming, heartwarming to know there are folks such as yourself and DJ as so many cats and kittens, way too many never have a chance. I was a member of a trap, neuter, and release program for about eight years here in Ohio. As a mother myself, uh, just one, I watched Verse deliver and you were so helpful. I cannot believe she had nine kittens. How overwhelmed she must feel. But she has your help. Saw you give them all five milliliters of supplement this morning. They were all asleep in a giant happy pile. When I saw you still in your bathrobe around 10 a.m., I laughed, remembering my own nursing experience. Yep, way too many days like that. Please continue with the wonderful work you do. I'm looking forward to seeing Versus Kittens rocketing around the kitten room like a kitten tornado. Enjoying all your cats and kittens from Ohio, Susan. And then it says, please accept a contribution to help keep things going. Thank you so much, Susan. That's very sweet of you uh, to send, and, and we do greatly appreciate it. Um, and that is every every bit is helpful. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, uh, the nine kittens is uh, definitely a record for us, and that was that was really something. Uh, and uh, as I was saying at the beginning of the mailbag, it has been keeping me up quite a bit trying to make sure that they all are getting properly fed. Uh, especially little Rudy, just uh, Rudy uh, just doesn't want to play along, uh, but fortunately is really good at nursing off of the syringe, so we like that. 
And uh, I think it it's might be time that we're better served by switching to a bottle from the syringe because uh, the bottle can hold a lot more. And I think one of the things that's happening now is they can drink so much that they get to the end of the syringe and then they lose interest as I'm trying to fill up a second one, where if I didn't have to stop, um, they might be able to, to do even better. So at any rate, we're, we're keeping on it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely, it's been a challenge. Uh, for us, as well as for Verse. So, uh, thank you so much for writing. I'm glad that uh, we can bring a little bit of enjoyment to you. I think that's it's one of the best parts about what we do um, is that uh, people find it as a, as a way to sort of relax, and and I do too most of the time. Uh, I think it's really good for that. Little kittens are wonderful that way, aren't you? Come on. Mr. A and DJ. I love this letterhead, by the way. It's beautiful. Um, it's got these blue flowers on the top that have a, a gold leaf uh, little accent there. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, I have only been watching the stream for a few months, but it feels like fate that I stumbled upon it. It's always on my computer while I'm at work, and the kitties make me so happy every day. I was born and raised in Crystal Lake, Illinois, and only moved away when I started college. My siblings and I used to go into On Angel's Wings anytime my parents needed a rental car. And my Aunt Peggy was a long-time vet in Crystal Lake before she retired a few years ago. All right, so for those of you that are uh, listening, you might be like, why why would they go into On Angel's Wings when they need a rental car? <laughs> uh, if you've never been there, On Angel's Wings um, has a thrift store, obviously. Uh, they're not just an animal shelter. They support the animal shelter with their thrift store. And directly next door is a rental car place. So apparently... Uh, parents would go to rent a car, and then the kids would go over to Aunt Angel's Wings and, and buy stuff. So that's that's why that explains that. Um, I only found the stream because of an Ask Reddit post and was shocked when I realized where you're based out of. But the coincidences don't end there. My stepmom worked in the IT department for a med school that I'm pretty sure a certain KA person attends, though my evidence is mostly circumstantial. My fiancé is also a medical student, so I know how you feel, Mr. A, although I only have one cat to take care of. I'm glad I found the stream and KA. It brings me and those I've shown it to, <laughs> oh man, uh, a lot of happiness, including my sweet kitty, Gigi. At Mr. A's suggestion, Gigi stole my credit card and made a donation of yummy food to her old shelter, the Humane Society of Huron Valley in Ann Arbor, Michigan in Kitten Academy's name. She chose the yummy food because she's a picky eater and never wanted to eat the food most cats at the shelter ate, so she wants other kitties to have an enticing option so they stay nice and healthy until they find their forever family. That's so sweet. Thank you for all you do for the wonderful cats of KA and the community you've created out of it. Hopefully one day I'll visit home, but uh, return to Michigan one kitten heavier. Best, Marley, Jamie, and Gigi. Uh, and this is apparently uh, Marley, M at M-A-R-L-I on Discord. Marley, uh, thank you so much for writing to us. And that is amazing um, that, that we're so uh, close in that sense. Um, just for the record, I don't think it's a big secret where DJ goes to med school. It is the uh, Rosalind Franklin University, uh, which is also known as Chicago Medical School. Uh, or maybe it's the Chicago Medical School at Rosalind Franklin University. I don't know exactly how the full title works, but that is the place. Uh, it's sort of on the north side, uh, like Vernon Hills kind of an area. I don't know exactly where. I've been there. I just I don't know all those towns and where one ends and the other begins. Um, so that's where she goes to med school. Of course, she hasn't actually been to the school in a while because she's out doing rotations and is in Colorado right now. Okay, one more letter. Ah, here's the cat taking a selfie. That's a, that's a pretty cool photo, actually. Oh, I guess he's laying down, if I hold this the right way. Hello, Mr. A, DJ, cats, and kittens. My name is Kimberly, and I live in Wales. I've been following the action in the Academy since Rue's kids were born and joined Discord not long after. 
this see what all this growling is. What is all this growling? Oh, I see. It's uh, fables trying to cover up the food. <laughs> Making funny food noises. Um, okay, I've been following the, the action in the Academy since Rue's kids were born and joined Discord not long after. I'm mostly a lurker, but have been known to post on occasion. Since it was the anniversary of when I joined, I thought I would introduce myself and say what joy it has been to watch your family of cats and kittens grow up. Queen Smokey reminds me of a cat I had growing up who also reached a grand old age of 19 called Havoc. I know how much you like to say place names with different names, so how about an area near me called... Uh, Lanelli? I'm just going to go with Lanelli. <laughs> it's got a lot of L's in it. Or Ryle. Uh, Ryle. That has too few vowels to be an actual word, I'll tell you that. Uh, thank you again for sharing your home and your dedication to looking after mom, cats, and kittens is inspiring. From Kimberly, who is Kimberly and Theo on Discord. Thank you so much for writing to us. I'm surprised by the number of uh, correspondents that we have in Wales. You're not the only one on the Discord who is from Wales, uh, which is really cool. I don't know the first thing about Wales, except that they tend to write words with too few vowels um, that are ridiculously long and make no sense to an English speaker. Um, so uh, that's, that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. Yeah, that's about it. Fable! Come here. Hi. Hi. Look at you in your secret agent outfit. Aren't you looking good? Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on. Yeah, you're looking very good. Very, very good. Um, we've got the secret agent suit on her because she had her spay. And even though her spay, uh, she just got the glue, she's, she's not real suture, so we're not worried about her, like, pulling them out. Um, but I put her in the suit anyway so that um, the kids wouldn't try to nurse on her because I think that would probably be painful. You know, it's probably pretty tender. Um, so that's it. That's why she's wearing the suit. No big deal. Uh, and because it looks so good. So very good. All right. Well, uh, thank you to the people who have sent us letters. And now we have a set of boxes to go through here. It's, uh, it's not a lot. I don't think it's going to take us all morning. So... Oh, I need a lot more coffee, though. I was up really late last night because, um, as you know, uh, I've been trying to feed um, Verse and her kittens around midnight um, as a last feeding before I go to bed. And then after that, I get up to the bedroom and I have to spend some time with Meter. You know, Meter deserves some, some time with me, too. So then I'm up even later. Um, and... Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot, but it's, it's all worthwhile. All right. So let's see. We've got a drop shipment here from Amazon, and there is a note. Okay, let's see. There might be a couple notes. Aw. Okay. The first note says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, Please use this as you see fit. I see the kittens seem to enjoy it as they grow older. Love, Karen. Karen, thank you very much. Churu is one of those things that kittens love, cats love, everybody loves. You can just never have too much of it around. It makes an excellent treat. And then you sent a second note that says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, I thought you might find this amusing. I don't know if the faculty does any of these things, but one never knows. Love, Karen. And this is uh, a book by The Oatmeal called How to Tell If Your Cat is Plotting to Kill You, uh, which sounds fun. Uh, I know I've seen some of these online because uh, it includes stuff like the Bobcats and whatever that The Oatmeal has published online a long time ago. Uh, and The Oatmeal is uh, very entertaining. Um, in fact, uh, our friend Sarah Donner that wrote our jingle that you heard at the beginning of the mailbag has also worked with the oatmeal and done some music videos together with them so uh, it's, it's a big circle of cat lovers out there um, and the oatmeal is obviously hilarious um, but also um, 
uh, does not follow our no sads policy. Not that they would, but I'm just saying, if uh, if you like us for the no sads policy, um, you know, just just be ready for uh, a little bit more emotion if you uh, if you pick up the oatmeal book for yourself. I still like them quite a bit, so. That's excellent. Karen, thank you so much for that stuff. That's really nice of you. And that churu, of course, will be put to the best use. Okay. Hi, kiddos. Oh, okay. Can I take this? Okay. It's all right. Okay. I don't know how I can just magically lose my knife in an instant. So this says, Mr. A and DJ, hello. I found this bed and thought it would be perfect for Verse and her kids when they get older. Thanks for everything you do. Heck yes, Deidre. Uh, heck yes, Deidre is um, one of our regular correspondents on Discord and otherwise. And it appears that this is a banana bed. So this is strange because uh, this is the second banana bed that has been sent for Verse and her kittens. I, I don't understand why this has suddenly become a thing. Um, not only is it the second banana bed that has been sent for Verse and her kittens, um, it is the third banana bed that we have. I'm planning on deploying all three banana beds for Verse and her kittens, plus a pineapple bed and just do like a little tropical theme, I think. Seems like fun, right? So uh, so now we're just going to have a bunch of bananas. It's going to be a, a literal bunch of bananas. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fun. Deidre, thank you so much, by the way. this is uh, These are very cute beds, and I bet we'll provide some excellent photography uh, possibilities. So uh, thank you. And I, I just I, I wish I knew if there was some actual reason why everybody's decided that bananas are the thing for versus kids. Um, not that I'm complaining. I think it's great. All right. So uh, obviously, yeah, um, they haven't left the box yet, but I'm sure they will be. And when they do, uh, they will have all of the bananas. So thank you so much. OK, uh, let's see. Let's just grab whatever's next here. Oh, a classic. Let's see what the note has to say about these Mylar balls. Definitely always a hit. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. Thanks for placing me with KA grad Baba G. He is fun and teaching me lots of stuff. These foil balls are my favorite toy. You can give them out to kittens who need to pack, practice batting. Bye and thanks, your friend Stanza. Well, thank you so much, Stan. Uh, Stanza got adopted, as you know, by the same people that adopted Baba Ganoush. So now they have Bob and Stan. And apparently now, uh, not only does Baba Ganoush steal the credit card and order things, but so does Stan. Uh, Stan, thank you so much. I'm just going to add this over here to this bag. That way we consolidate things a little bit. And uh, as you are well aware, those are toys that never go wrong. So. I think that there's actually a collection of them under the yellow cage over there right now, um, and probably under any cat owner's fridge and, uh, and oven, um, I'm guessing. Probably quite a few, uh, at least for our house, I'm sure of it. All right, here we have a package from Canada that has cats. It's got little kittens drawn on it. It says Mew on this side. It's got a picture of a cat here. It is adorable, super cute. Right. And I'm just, I'm not quite sure how to cut it to get this open right, so let's see what we can do. Okay, I think I'm just going to do it like this. Excellent. All right, and we have a note, and the note says, okay to read on stream. We are off to a great start here. 
Aw, okay, it says hello from Taz and Kitty, who we know, so this is not the first correspondence that we've had, correspondence that we've had with these cats. And I love that this, this photo shoot here is on the Canadian flag, it says Canada, the red maple leaves there, that's, uh, that's a beautiful, and these beautiful photos, just so well lit, gorgeous photos. Mr. A and DJ, letting you know we are still KA fans and thought we would do something different this time. Instead of sending something for Kitten Academy, we made up a little something for Fable Ill. <laughs> Let me start again. We made up a little something for Fable Ink Quill and Parchment to enjoy at their forever home. Take a peek if you like and show the YouTubers. We are working on a Kitten Academy parcel. We were excited to see Versus 9, maybe 10 fur babies. We wish her all the best in the birth. She is in the best place to have her babies. Keep up the possum work from Erica, Linda, Taz, and Kitty. And such amazing, fantastic photography. Just great photos. As always, you always send us one of these homemade cards with your homemade photos on it, and they are beautiful. All right, so whatever's going on in the box, uh, Ink has decided that he, she wants to check it out right away. Hi, Ink. All right, but let me look, okay? We have some tissue paper. Aw, we have individual bags, and each bag is decorated with little drawings of cats in beautiful colors. And let's see, so this one says it's for Fable. Aw, and it's got, uh, it's got a laser pointer and some Purina treats and a spring and a little gopher and house mouse. Uh, very, very cute little cat toys there, and I'm betting that the other bags are similar. I don't want to take them all out if they're if they're all kind of the same because then I'll have trouble getting them all back in. But let's take a look at one other. Here's one for Quill. Yes, Quill's. It's got the same kind of. It's got a laser pointer, a bag of treats. It's got one of those. Uh, uh, what do you call these things? Fun tubes, I guess. Something. Uh, some balls. A little. Um, Spring, all that stuff. It's awesome. Wow, you guys are so nice. Thank you so much for doing this. And I know that the adopters are just going to love it. Now, they've probably got another month before they're really going to be ready to go home with their adopters. Um, but uh, I will put this in the endowment bag and uh, we will make sure that it goes to the adopters. Erica, uh, Linda, and crew, thank you again so much. I just need to write on here that this is uh, ink and quill and talents. Ink, quill, parch, and fable. Good. Wow, thank you so much. Those are such cute bags. I love the way that you've done that and uh, and decorated each one with little drawings of kitties. It's adorable. It's completely adorable. Um, this is our monthly kitnip box, which has uh, been a, a gift from uh, Lucia to Loganberry. And therefore, Loganberry gets one of these every month. And it says right on here, Loganberry Kitten Academy. So this is his for this month, and every month Kitnip Box does a, a theme of uh, cat toys. And it looks like the theme of this box is when I grow up I want to be. So we've got a, a chef, a police badge, um, let's see, a professor, a leap engineer mat, a magnifying glass for a detective. Let's see, I'll show some of this stuff. So here we got what looks like a TV remote control. I guess some kids just want to be a couch potato when they grow up, which is fine. Two, we don't we don't judge. Uh, here we have a Lynx High. Um, it looks like just a nerdy cat character <laughs> to me. There we go. When I grow up, I want to be a nerd in high school. Okay, fair enough. I've been there once. Why not again? Here we have the Paw Police. Police badge. We have an owl. We have a chef. Okay. 
We have an ink. We have a special delivery cat toy. I see it's an envelope. It's got stamps and stuff on it. And a little postage canceled there. Here's the magnifying glass. Here is a engineer cat crinkle toy. He's an engineer, you can tell because he's wearing glasses. Um, that's how you tell an engineer. If you're out in the wild and you see someone wearing glasses, you will know they are an engineer. Here we have a cat grooming brush. Very cool. It's got a little hand strap, so you strap it to your hand and then you can pet your cats with it. And then finally, a bunch of jingly balls. And ink is totally into everything in this box, even though it is not for you. It is for Loganberry. But Loganberry, Loganberry has been sharing the contents of the previous boxes. Uh, Loganberry kind of, he's a, he's a serial toy um, user, where he, he picks out one toy that is his favorite toy, and then that's the only toy he wants until he just wears it out, to, until it's just threadbare and falling apart, and uh, then we've got to find him a new toy. Um, so he ends up sharing a lot of these toys from the kitnet box, but he still gets to appreciate them all, and uh, Lucia, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for doing that for him. I know he's your favorite, and uh, he is a, a little sweetheart, and just he really deserves all of it. So that is very, very kind of you. Uh, I'm going to take a break for just one second and let Fable out. Yes, okay, Fable. That's fine. Oh, I hear you. Okay, nice seeing you, though. I give it 10 seconds before she's meowing at the door to come back in. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, Lucia, thank you so much for the kidnap box. So, uh, on a similar note, we have something here that is new. It says Meow Box, and hopefully there'll be a note inside. I don't know if this is a competitor to the kidnap box or what, and nothing on the outside says who sent it or why. Perhaps something on the inside will. Oh, it says hi, kitties with a heart. So, uh, so this is a similar idea, meow box and kitnip box. Um, uh, I like the fact that these guys go a little bit further in their personalization. First off, somebody's written by hand, hi, kitties, on the inside of the box. And secondly, uh, they both have a nice, where the, everything that's inside is sort of wrapped up in a piece of paper so it's nicely presented. But this one is sealed with a feather, um, and the kitnip box is not. That's very cute. Okay, so let's take a look. I know, Ink, I know. Ah, I see. So they have a theme also, and the Meow Box theme is Back to School. Excellent. And uh, it also has a, uh, a little poem here. Another school year has officially begun from science and meow thematics to literature and phys ed. There's endless knowledge with which to fill your head. Of course, there's always still time to play at Causing Mischief Kitty. You get an easy A. Um, and then uh, apparently there's details on their website, uh, meowbox.com. You need to know more about what is in the box. Um, all right, let's let's take a look though. Let's see. Here we have Teacher's Pet Rattle Apple. That is adorable. Here we have a uh, Kitty's Lunch Catnip Peanut Butter and Jelly Sandwich packed with love from Meow Box. <laughs> That's also very cute. Uh, here we have a pencil kicker, and then there's a math quiz on the uh, for kittens on the, the thing. So this is actually, oh, I see. The packaging is a composition book, name Boots Purrington, subject math, school, Meow Academy. Wow, that's pretty similar uh, to the Kitten Academy, school's Meow Academy. It says right there. And then the questions on the inside are, uh, 12 yummy fish plus 10 yummy fish equals how many yummy fish? 20 cat treats minus 14 cat treats, how many tasty treats left over? 
66 mice plus 5 more mice minus 2 mice equals how many mice? 4 new toys times 12 months equals how many new Meow Box toys? That's cute. So it's a pencil with a big feather on the end. That's very adorable. And uh, here we have a wand toy that, where the, the toy on the wand, it's a perfect grade wand toy. The, the toy on the end is a sheet of paper that's uh, lined and it's got an A plus on it and some little ribbons at the bottom and it's very cute. Okay. These kittens love this. Uh, and then finally, they've included a little tin of treats, chicken bites. A little tiny tin thing of, of chicken bites. It's actually a very good size, though. You know, it's uh, um, a lot of those treat bags that you get are like lifetime supply treat bags, at least at the rate that we tend to give treats. Um, they just last forever, so it's, 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 it's like a more reasonable size right here. So I don't see anything here to tell me who sent the Meow Box. Maybe somebody online will um, take credit for it. That would be swell. Here, you want to try one of these? What's this? You want to try one of these? See, you're trying. Yeah, let me put it right here. Let me put these back in the box for the moment. These are too cute. I think this is adorable. I guess the uh, Kitnip box gives you a lot more stuff, but I feel like the, uh, the Meow box here has a slightly higher uh, maybe cuteness factor or quality. Plus, they sent us treats, and the uh, kidnap box did not. But um, I don't know they're both they're both good. I would say they're both very good. But this, these toys, at least this month, uh, these toys definitely seem like they take the lead. And again, I love the fact that they have the little personal touch. They sealed it with a feather, and they've written "Hi Kitties." It's adorable. It's it's very very cute. So uh, thank you to whoever sent the Meow Box. I'll have to see if maybe somebody on chat has given me a clue about who this is from. Oh. All right. Lisa says that the Meow Box was sent to us by Meow Box. Um, that they are, uh, they sent us a thing to try out. So I guess that's good. It's good for everybody. Because our kittens get some stuff, and they get some free press, uh, and then we're all happy. So so that was also very nice of them. How thoughtful. I guess I got to, if, if it's going to be a competition between Meow Box and Kitnip Box, uh, I'm going to have to give it to Meow Box. Uh, not only is our, all their packaging and stuff really cute and personalized, but uh, they sent this directly to us. And, uh, you know, we like people who like us. Don't we? Don't we all feel that way? I'm just going to hand these toys out right now. This is, after all, the Kitten Academy. And these are all school toys, so it is a perfect opportunity for these kids. Okay. This I'm just going to set aside over here, so that I'm not going to try to get it out right now, but I will get it out when I come and play with them. So that's how we do wand toys. Um, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right there for the moment. And I see some of them want more of those treats. All right, hang on. So, uh, so Meow Box, thank you so much for that. That's, uh, that's really thoughtful of you guys to send those for us and for our kitties. Here, try another treat. Oh, you're just going to help yourself to the whole box? Okay, that's not how this works. These are some cute kitten-sized treats, though. Good. Perfect size for kitties. I'm just going to put down a few and let you guys go nuts on them. So cute. Okay, Meow Box. Thank you so much. I'm going to put those treats in there. They can just be part of the mailbag thing. Yeah, until they're gone. 
Very cool. I love I love the fact that it's so uh, personalized and that they um, they put in the nice little touches like the the uh, cute stuff for the toys and and so on. I think that they're they're really winners. So okay. All right. Here we have another Amazon drop shipping. Interesting toys. Is there a note? There is a note, I think. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and kittens, here are some cute catnip toys for the endowments of Verse and her tiny tinies. I know it's going to be a while before they can enjoy these, but these were too cute to ignore. Love, Emma C. Well, Emma C, you're not wrong about that. I took one look at this and I thought those are some cute toys. Let's um, see if I can show them to everybody. So here we have an avocado and a uh, tortilla. See a little bit of a theme there. A little tortilla chip and an avocado. Here we have a sushi and an octopus. The octopus is wearing a little Japanese flag on his head. I uh, like a sushi chef. Here we have uh, what appears to be uh, sriracha and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that other one is. A stumper. What is that? It looks like a bottle of sriracha and a. I don't know. It's not. A, it's not like a chili pepper or something, is it? What would it be? A chicken? Uh, something you put sriracha on? I don't. Yeah, a little confusing, but that's okay. Here we have a hamburger and fries. So cute. <laughs> these, are, these are all from Pet Craft Supply Company. Here we have a BLT and a piece of bacon separately. So one is in the sandwich, a BLT, and one is out. And then finally we have a giant burrito. These are all adorable toys. They really are. MFC, thank you so much. I love them. All right, what, what is this? Is this, a, is, this, is this a piece of chicken? What is it? It feels like it should be obvious, and I'm just not getting it for some reason. Hmm. Surely somebody knows what that is. All right, I'm going to wrap these up and write on them as we go to the endowments. Emma, see, that is so cute. Those toys are adorable. Okay, verse, endow, perfect. Let's see if anybody on chat told me what that thing is. I guess nobody's really sure. Some people are saying a pepper, but it's brown. Uh, some people are saying a chicken wing, which does make some sense. It doesn't quite look right. Marley says a shrimp. Hmm. It's a good mystery, though. All right. Well, you can decide for yourself. They're trying to get more of those treats out from the meow box. Look at that. You guys can't you can't help yourself to the meow box treats. You've got to wait for me. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, a couple more boxes. Uh, this I noticed the uh, return address is uh, this is uh, from somebody local, ish. So let's see what we got. Close the address. That was unintended. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look 
at that. Oh, so cool. Uh, hi, DJ and Mr. A. I made these snuggly little comfort blankets for the Kitten Academy kittens for you to use at the Academy or in swag bags, whatever you think is best. Finchy and Gracie love theirs. Hope you do, too. We love our girls. They've been such a blessing in our lives. Thank you for the Kitten Academy. Laura, Finch, and Gracie. You guys remember Finch and Gracie? That's awesome. So Laura's their adopter and made these blankets, which are amazing. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Look at that. That's almost too nice to, uh, to give to a kitten. Um, it's got all these different textures and colors. Some of these have really long fur sticking out, and some are like a, like a corduroy or chenille, and some are just a, more like a standard kind of yarn. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love that. And there's another one that's made in the same kind of style, except square. Again, all these different materials. I just, I love it. The way they all go together. It's so interesting. Thank you so much. Wow, these are just beautiful. I don't know what to do with these yet. They do seem uh, a little too nice to just give to cats, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> so then, then I have to wash them, and I just, I know I'll never get them to be right after that. Oh, but they're beautiful. So gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. How about if I just give you some of these treats, okay? How about if we just give out some more? Let's do that. Come here. Well, you guys need some extra weight anyhow, so you guys can have all the treats you want, okay? We need you kids to get fat. Archie, over here. Archie, right there. No, right here. No, oh, what's this? Archie. What's this? Ink, you want some too, buddy? Right here. Laura, that's, uh, those, th those blankets, I've never seen anything like that. They're beautiful. Okay. All right, two more boxes. Well, this one's practically open already. size bag of Char what we call Charlie balls because this was one of Charlie's favorite toys and um, a cat shaped scratching pad it says um, but I don't see a note for either of these items and I also want to know what a cat shaped scratching pad looks like so let's open that up and take a look As it says, a cat-shaped scratching pad. That's, that's very adorable. Wow. Well, and it's pink, and it's very cute. And uh, there still does not seem to be a note in here. Now, the box was kind of open, so maybe the note fell out. But if somebody wants to take credit for sending all these wonderful toys and the, the scratching pad, um, you absolutely should take credit for that. And if you had some specific intent in mind, let us know. Otherwise, we will just deploy it as we get an opportunity. Um, wonderful. I love that scratching pad especially. And the Charlie Balls, you can just never have too many of. Okay, one last box I've kind of been saving for last from uh, another regular correspondent who is either Flavia or Flavia. I'm going to go with Flavia because that makes more sense to me from Argentina, and I have this argument about how to properly pronounce her name every time it comes up. She's on our Discord, she's on our Twitter, uh, we talk to her all day long, but uh, we don't have to usually say her name, so. Uh, so, interesting, oh wow, and she sent me all the food, okay. Um, thank you, this is exciting stuff. So, okay, uh, 
Havana uh, Galatitas, Galatitas, uh, and the lemon flavored. They're like lemon flavored cookies. Uh, lemon flavored cookies. They look awesome. I mean, they look really awesome. Wow. Uh, also, you have included. Oh, there is a note. Okay, hang on. We'll get to the note. You've included artisanal chocolate. Wow, and it does. It looks very art artisanal. It uh, looks beautiful. All right, let's take a look. We've got a little card sealed with a cupcake. Dear Mr. A and DJ, hello. Greetings from Argentina again. I know you say no gifts for people, just for cats, please. But this is my way to say thank you for all the work you do with kittens and mom cats. And that I love you both very much. I hope you like them and enjoy. With love, Flavia. F F Flavia. Flavia. I'm sticking with that pronunciation. Flavia, thank you so much. I was really excited when I saw you sent me a box. And I was excited when I saw the customs declaration said candy and chocolate, too. So, so you know, yeah, you're right. We ask people not to send stuff for us, but that doesn't stop me from being excited when they do it anyway. So here we have some chocolate uh, and caramel candies. Uh, oh, maybe there are different. Well, I guess not. I don't... Huh, interesting. They each have a, like a different sort of character on them. And uh, Sonri, I don't know what these things mean though. Sonri and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing them. Rela, Relayate? Despayate? Disfruta? I don't, I'm probably completely butchering the language. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but those are cute too. So we got those, we got the chocolates, we got the lemon cookies that look amazing. Um, then you have included, uh, let's see, Boro, which appears to be a dark chocolate uh, covered cherry with liqueur. That is the best kind of chocolate covered cherry. Wow, that looks amazing. And what is this? You sent. Uh, let's see, it says, well, it's uh, the logo for the store or whatever is Regionales Gente de Campo uh, Marikiniera, which I'm also probably completely mispronouncing. Uh, there's two of these, and they are, let's see, I'm going to have to open them up to see what they are. Looks like a local sort of candy store thing. Oh. Oh, so cute. Wow. We have uh, little dancers here. And, and something else. Tiny little wrapping. Oh, and a keychain. It says Argentina on it with two horses. So cute. Thank you. And there is another package here. Oh, I see. This says Mr. A on it. I, I missed where he had written on them. So the other one says DJ. So those are for me. The, the dancer magnet, I think, and the keychain. Awesome. And then this one says DJ on it. I missed, I missed where he had written on those. I'm sorry. And DJ's I will open because she's not here right now. Aw, it's a little kitty coin purse. And inside you have put... Oh, wow. Uh, a magnet that is a plate that says Buenos Aires, Argentina, and another little, oh, it looks like a makeup compact that is also says Buenos Aires on it. Hang on. Let's, uh, so cute. Look at that. It has a little mirrors in it. And then, uh, so apparently the, the, the people dancing is sort of a theme, I guess. I mean, they've really bought into this here. And it's always the same sort of uh, tango pose, like you think of for a tango or something. Because all three of these things have the dancing people on them. Interesting. Okay, and then there's two more things in here. Hang on, let me... Uh, I need to, okay, uh, this, we'll start with DJ's. This says DJ, and it's all wrapped in this cute little pink paper. Oh, it's very shiny. Oh, my goodness, my eyes. 
I don't know how well that comes off on the camera. This is some sort of space age shiny material that, uh, wow, that's fascinating. Um, and, oh, on the inside is a pen set. Of course, it's a bunch of pens and pencils for DJ to use for school, and they're so cute. And we have a little donut eraser in here, too. Uh, here we've got a pen with a flamingo on it. It says flamingo. And here we've got a cactus and a unicorn. I like that one. That's cool. Uh, here we've got a hand giving the peace sign. Uh, here we've got a little cat. The cat fell off of. Hang on. There's the cap on there. We've got a little tiny cat head. Oh, there's another donut eraser. Another flamingo. Uh, Mafalda. And a cupcake. These are all very, very cute. And that pen holder is crazy. Wow. You like this flamingo a lot, don't you? Well, thank you so much. That's really cute, and I'm sure DJ will like it. Um, and uh, I, she loves sparkly things. This pen holder, oh, she might like it as much as I do. I think it's awesome. Wow, that is so bright. That's almost glowing. Okay, there's one more thing in here. It says, Mr. A. Oh, oh. a t-shirt. about this on the chat and I was saying okay I was asking everybody on the chat which one they like better was it Heathcliff or Top Cat and I said there's only one right answer I said the right answer is Top Cat and here you found a Top Cat t-shirt for I don't know how you found this this is the coolest thing I love it thank you so much wow that is really really cool Man, it's been a long time since I've watched Top Cat, too. I need to go see if I can find those online or something. That's great. Flavia, thank you so much, Flavia. That's really, really cool stuff. It's so sweet of you to do this, too. Um, you really didn't have to, but I do. I, I appreciate it so much. I'm excited about these lemon cookies and the chocolates and stuff. I will. I will get into them. I'm going to do it. It's fine. You know, I ordered pizza last night, so I'm kind of like on a break from my diet anyway for a day or two. And then I can get back into it. You know, I can, I can go back. Start working out again. I'll burn them off. It'll be so worth it. Wow. Thank you so much. This is some cool stuff. Thanks to everybody. Uh, the Meow Box. Uh, thanks to Lucia for the Kitnet Box. Um, the mystery person that sent the, the Cat Scratcher and the Charlie Balls. And then so much stuff for endowments. It's wonderful. It's so wonderful. Thank you, everybody, that sent in stuff this week. I really appreciate it. It's just the right amount of stuff to, you know, sometimes we get just way too much. Um, but this this all just, it seems perfect. A great week. So, so thank you to all of you that participated. And thank you to all of you that watched. That's participating, too. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it like I did. It's fun. Now, I've got to start taking this stuff out and get it put away, um, so I'm going to leave the archive running as usual while we do that, and then I'll come back and let you guys know when we are done. Oh. It seems like the general consensus on the sriracha toy is that it's like a fried shrimp. I don't know why. I didn't know that was a thing necessarily, but fair enough. Oh, Lisa says I wanted to, I uh, was going to thank uh, Ariana for the KMR uh, from last week. So thank you, too, for that. I almost forgot. I know it's not much to say uh, now, but uh, the KMR stuff has been very useful to us in feeding those kitties. So uh, thank you for that, Ariana. Okay. All right, time for me to clean this stuff up. I will be back.
Scratcher and the Charlie Balls are from Baba Ganoush. So thank you so much, Baba. We appreciate that. That's uh, it's nice of you to think of us. And to show Stan how to use the credit card, too, that was very thoughtful. Let's see, Let's see what I can do to try to get all this stuff kind of organized a little bit. back parchy still out there somewhere
sure that these guys always have wet food. Um, so when they eat all of their, when mom comes in and eats all of it, I've got to put some more down. Okay, they've always got a chance to eat something there. Okay, uh, that's it for mailbag. I got everything cleared out. Uh, thanks again to everybody that sent stuff, and thanks again to everybody who uh, watched and just enjoyed the show. Uh, we appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that. All right, I'm going to end the archive now. So if you're watching this later on the archive, um, that's the end. And if you are watching it live, you won't have to go anywhere because we're not going to go anywhere.